Welcome back, or just welcome if you're new here. I'm Carmen Free. I'm an employment relations practitioner, but I'm all about sustainable and conscious living. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a purchase that I made. So it's kind of like an unboxing video, but of stuff that I purchased a very normal order for me. I didn't purchase it with the intention of making this video, but when it arrived, I was like, hey, this might be a cool video. So everything that you see in today's video, I paid for that. Nothing is sponsored. None of this is to push any products on you whatsoever. My goal with today's video is just to show a average sustainable purchase that I made, how easy it is. I purchased this online. It was delivered to my door. So there was very little that I had to do. And then mostly just to possibly give you some ideas of sustainable alternatives that you might want to implement in your life after having seen this video and seeing what is available. And I'll share with you my considerations for things that I'm repurchasing, some stuff that I'm trying out that might be new and why I'm trying it. And maybe some of my shares will give you ideas of things that you want to implement in your life. I don't want this intro to be too long, so I guess the only relevant background that you might want for this video is that I have been on my sustainable journey for about three years now, so I'm quite far into having made sustainable switches. I have tried lots of sustainable products already. I have found kind of what works for me and what doesn't work for me, so I'm much less in the experimental phase than I was three years ago. The other important thing that you might want to know for this video is when I talk about sustainability, I'm speaking about things that contribute to me having a more eco-friendly lifestyle or a more sustainable lifestyle in terms of the quality of my life when it comes to my mental and physical health and well-being. My choice of health is a pro-metabolic repeat inspired approach. Nothing that I share about my health choices is advice. I'm just sharing what I do and I provide some resources down below if you're interested, but I'm not trying to push my frame of reference or my health choices onto anybody else. So let's get into the unboxing of this order that I placed. If you are interested in seeing like more sustainable purchases that I make, follow my Instagram. The link is down below. I usually show on there when I buy clothing that I believe is in line with my sustainability values, food items that I purchase, as well as like general around the house kind of things that I buy. And I also share things that I don't buy any longer. This order consists of two boxes. <sighs> which for me was a rather large order. They have a wide variety of products and it's quite easy to get them all in one place and usually I order enough for shipping to be free. On the day that I placed this particular order, just because these products are also available from Faithful to Nature, I'm just gonna show you that and then we're gonna get into these boxes. So the first one is essential oils. I use it as aromatherapy. I really like this smell, so I put it in my diffuser. I wanted eucalyptus oil and lavender, and these seemed like good options. And I find having tea tree in my home is always a good idea. So I purchased these from this supplier, which I loved. I loved supporting a female-owned local sustainable business through this purchase. So that made my heart very happy. With that order, I also bought a kitchen cleaner and a yoga mat cleaner. And they work really well. So that's been a success. Definitely will reorder from this company. And the other one is coconut oil. I'm not going to bring the entire box. I order organic, odorless coconut oil directly from the supplier so that we can get bulk discount because we use a lot of coconut oil. I ordered about 14 tubs of coconut oil. All right, let's open the box. I'm gonna start with the smallest box first. Right, so inside there is paper. I use it to wrap gifts and then I just like draw little designs on it to make it look like wrapping paper. Otherwise, if I don't use it for wrapping paper, then I just recycle it. The so first item. First item is soy candles. The first time I was exposed to this as part of my pre-wedding package, my sister and other people very close to me made up a basket of products that align with my sustainability values as gifts. And they included a candle from this brand in that. And since then, I absolutely love these candles. I've become quite conscious of the candles that I purchase 
So currently I'm only purchasing the soy candles and another small business makes these coconut oil candles that I also purchased. And just to show you when the candle is done, I'm left with this glass. I take off the label, I wash it and make sure all of the candle is out. And then I reuse these or I give them to somebody who I think is going to benefit from using them. Okay, so this one is rose, geranium and jasmine. Those are two of my absolute favorite scents. And then I also got, oh, it's called the Harmony Candle. And then I also got the Serenity Candle, which is organic lavender and chamomile, which are two very calming scents. All right, next up we have, yeah, this was, a, this is just a sample that was given. I didn't purchase this. It seems like it's a beeswax um, balm. They have wrapped it just in cardboard. For a moment, I was thinking this was a sample as well. I was like, I don't remember ordering this, but I did. Okay. So one of the kind of conventional products that I still use is Vicks Vapor Rub which I've just always still purchased it, but it has such minimal ingredients that at first I could probably make it myself. But then I saw this one and I was like, yes, I'm going to give this one a try. And the main thing I like about this one as opposed to Vicks Vapor Rub is that the base is coconut and then beeswax. And then in it is lavender, rosemary, eucalyptus, peppermint, and the main ingredient that gives Vicks Vapor Rub that kind of Vicks smell, which is camphor. And then this one has tea tree as well. So I'm super excited to try this as opposed to using Vicks Vapor Rub, which has, I think, petroleum jelly as the base. Yeah, it kind of just has like a fresh, clean your nose kind of smell to it. Next up, we have mascara. Just to show you my face. This is probably the seventh or eighth, maybe even ninth, tenth time <laughs> that I'm repurchasing this particular mascara. It is my favorite natural one. I find it to be so reasonably priced. Coming from somebody who really doesn't mind spending money on quality products, this one is probably in the lower range of pricing when it comes to mascaras in general, uh, not just like natural mascaras. And I have found that it works really well for me and I love it. I also like the brand Hey Gorgeous. So when I do get a moment, I go to their physical shop in Cape Town and I have a look at whatever cool products that they have brought out. I know that they are expanding on their makeup range at the moment. I think they brought out a whole bunch of new products, but so far this is the only makeup product from them that I use. So the next item is a massive tub of salt. All right, massive tub of coarse salt. There's also going to be a massive tub of fine salt probably in that box. So just to explain, having salt is a very normal part of the pro-metabolic type eating. But aside from that, for a while now, I no longer eat any highly processed foods. So in grocery stores or takeouts, I don't eat highly processed like breads or crackers or any of those kind of ready-made foods or snacks. I don't eat fast food or takeout. I very rarely eat out in restaurants. And all of those food items that I just mentioned usually have quite a lot of salt in. And because I don't eat any of those foods, I do need additional salt in my diet and I put salt on my food. But yeah, so massive tub of salt. Okay, and also maybe you're asking why do I buy such a massive tub of salt and not just like a normal amount of salt is because I'm pretty much always gonna be putting salt on my food. I know it's something that I'm going to be using regularly. And we have this salt grinder that we fill up with the coarse salt. And then I have this salt jar that I fill up with the fine salt. Bulk buy salt and then just fill up my containers, which generally means less packaging. And this tub does get reused at least once or twice before it gets recycled. This is the bigger box of the two. Note. Okay, so in here we're kind of getting to the more fun product in my opinion. First one's a bulk pack of baby wipes. This is a repurchase for me and a regular purchase for me. 
I like using baby wipes. These I buy to use myself, but they're also one of my favorite baby shower gifts to give to people. They are organic biodegradable baby wipes with organic aloe. Personally, I like these. I have used other natural baby wipes before, but these are my favorite. Their smell is not offensive. It's not very strong. I don't like things that are artificially fragranced or have very strong artificial smells. It's just irritating for me since having moved to a more natural lifestyle where I'm just not used to those smells anymore. So they don't have a offensive smell at all. I have found them to work wonderfully. I usually keep a pack of them in my car, in my house. And like I said, I give them as baby shower gifts. A random thing I do want to say, however, about baby wipes or just maybe biodegradable wipes in general. The thing to consider with these wipes is although they are the more eco-friendly option, something that is biodegradable, these are also compostable, I did check with the, the brand themselves, is that it is only eco-friendly and not harmful to the environment if we dispose of them in a way where they do get broken down or they do get composted. So in my case, Whenever I use these wipes, when I'm out and about, I do keep them as well and I bring them home and I put them into my organic waste bin to ensure that they do get composted. So just a reminder, when you are buying something that is biodegradable and compostable, of course, that is much better than buying something that isn't biodegradable and isn't compostable. However, it's actually only the eco-friendly option if you do dispose of it in a way that allows for that to happen. In my case, the easy way that we do this, ours go into our Bokashi bins. Our toothpaste and our other toothpaste. Right, the light blue one is a rebuy for me or a repurchase. The dark blue one is a new one that I am trying. I have tried probably five or six natural toothpaste and this brand is my favorite brand of natural toothpaste. I also use their mouthwash. The only thing that I do not love about this toothpaste is that it does come in a tub that I'm assuming is made of plastic. There are other natural options that come in packaging that is more sustainable. I do have a coconut oil toothpaste that comes in a glass jar. However, I find it to be a tad bit oily and I don't really like it for daily use. But as much as I like those toothy tabs, I found that this works better for me. So yeah, my toothpaste isn't in the most sustainable package. It also doesn't indicate on it what type of plastic this is. So I'm not sure whether it is or isn't recyclable. Normal toothpaste, that, that very thick plastic that those bases are made out of is very seldomly recyclable. Um, however, this is much thinner than the normal one. So how we usually dispose of this is either I cut it open, I wash it and I wish cycle it. So I throw it in recycling, hoping that it does get recycled. Or I do the same thing where I cut it open, I wash it and then I dry it off and I throw it into our eco bricks. The next item is my magnesium supplements. I'm all about real food over supplementation. If I can get something from real food, that is always goal number one for me. I also get magnesium sulfate in the form of Epsom salt bath, magnesium bicarbonate. We use milk of magnesia to make it in, um, in carbonated water. And then sometimes I have, oh, and then I have some magnesium sprays as well that I rub on my body. So Metagenics is currently my preferred magnesium glycinate supplement. What I look for in a supplement is for it to be of high quality and have minimal random fillers in it. I want the supplement without the random other additives put into it. This is desert salt. So we are also particular about the type of salt that we use. Just know that if you see something that we are consuming or purchasing, there's a 95% chance that that is for intentional purposes. And there's very little that we just do, be, you know, because. Sorry, more toothpaste. I'm honestly not sure why I bought so many, but maybe because my husband also uses it. All right, the next thing is a new item for me. I have never purchased this item. I saw it and I was like, hey, let's give this a try. For some super, super quick background is one of the few health things that I still consistently 
get and have issues with. I do get migraines. I have for as long as I can remember. I am aware of what triggers them most of the time. I do a lot to prevent them, but while I'm in the process of doing the best that I can to prevent them from happening, I've also been searching for natural alternatives to as best as possible survive it when it does happen without the reliance on heavy pain medication. Mine aren't that bad that I need to take like migraine kits. They're bad enough that the sort of average mild painkiller is not going to make much of a difference for me. So major things that I'm doing to address that is a lot of lowering stress because that does trigger it as well as a lot with my hormonal health. I've also been able to see that they do follow a specific cycle pattern. And then recently I've started seeing a chiropractor which seems to be helping quite a lot. But anyway, this product, it's a magnesium body butter specifically for the massaging into your neck, forehead and temples for headache relief, or then you can use it for restful sleep or cramping muscles or all the other things that people use magnesium for. I typically don't buy a product that's kind of like, oh, this is for stomach cramps, like rub it on your stomach because I'm very particular about the base oils. I'm very particular about what I put in my skin and what's absorbed into my skin. But I did go through all of the ingredients of this prior to purchasing it and I was very happy about all of them. It is made with magnesium oil, raw shea butter, virgin coconut oil, jojoba oil, peppermint, and then I think some alcohol, yeah. I did go through all of the ingredients prior to purchasing this and it does not contain any seed oils because I don't like to use seed oils on my body because I try to minimize my exposure to polyunsaturated fats. So I was so happy that the base or the main oils contained in this one is magnesium oil and then shea butter and coconut oil. So. So no seed oils in this one. So next time I have like cramping or a headache or anything, I'm gonna give this a try. Probably only give feedback on my Instagram. So you can follow my Instagram if you want feedback on how that works. Okay, next up, an Arnica gel. So recently we finished the Arnica oil that I had. I think I purchased Arnica again. Yeah, I did. All right, so I actually purchased Arnica, but while I'm in the process of figuring out how to make my own like Arnica spread, I did purchase this gel, which is already ready made to be used. I don't particularly have an ailment or something that needs Arnica right now, but I do just like to have it like tea tree. I like to have it in my house just in case. I have heard that it is helpful for bruising and I have a tendency to walk into the corners of our very sharp bed. And then sometimes as a result of that, I end up having bruising on my legs. That's just like it in cases and we have it in the house. Oh, when they packaged this, I think they thought it was two orders. So now I have two of these bee balms. Okay, another big tub. <laughs> All right. So this one is a super repurchase. I have purchased this product multiple times. This was probably one of the first natural laundry powders that I used on my sustainable journey. Then I tried some other ones along the way, but I always seem to come back to this one. It is, in my opinion, reasonably priced and it works really well. I've never had any issues with it. I buy the eucalyptus and rosemary one because it smells nice and fresh, but they do have ones that I think are unscented or different types of scents. All I will say about this product is that they recommend like, here we go, for a front loader, they recommend 150 milliliters. This is half a cup, which is 118 milliliters. So they're saying use 150 milliliters in your front loader. And luckily I never read the instructions prior to using this product because I just use a normal amount. I use like one or two tablespoons maximum in all of my loads, no matter how big. <laughs> And that has worked perfectly for me. So I didn't even know that they instructed that much to be used until somebody messaged me on Instagram and was like, do you use that much? And I was like, definitely not. Our bamboo cotton earbuds, they're plastic free and also 100% biodegradable. This is a new purchase. I have purchased plastic free cotton buds before, but then they came in plastic containers. So I like that this one came in a container that I will definitely reuse because it's cool, 
but also I think it's made of bamboo or cardboard, some more sustainable material than the plastic ones that our previous earbuds came in. Okay, next up we have, oh yeah. These are my biodegradable dental floss refills. This is a repurchase for me because the original purchase, I purchased this in glass and now I've just purchased the refills for it. Personally, I like how they work. They work just fine for me. I absolutely hate flossing because my teeth are very close together. These work well and when I'm done using them, they go into our Bokashi. That being said, my husband does not like how they work because I think he's a little bit maybe stronger or a little bit more forceful when he does floss his teeth. So he was finding that it would break. I don't have that. They don't break when I use them. However, I respect that it irritates him to use them. So I purchased him different ones that I have used in the past and I really like them as well. What's nice about these is that the packaging is actually also the container for them. So you just break off the top and then you bring it out and you stick it around there. So it's not like they're packaged and then also packaged into something. This is their packaging. This was the first natural floss that I used and I found it to be really nice. The only reason I purchased the other ones is because it's even less packaging because it's literally like refills and that little cardboard thing. So I'm that person when I get invited to a baby shower is that I really like to give gifts that align with my sustainability values. I absolutely hate buying things that or I don't think are kind of in line with my values. So I do inquire obviously into what the mama to be likes to use. If she does like to use things like reusable diapers, then I contribute towards that or I purchase them. If she does like to use like more sustainable items, then of course I purchase that. But I check because it's not everybody's vibe. And gift giving is like my primary love language. So when I give gifts, I really don't want to be pushy about it. I just want to contribute to their journey, but in a way that also aligns with my sustainability values. So the next item is something that I did buy for a baby shower or sprinkle, I think it's called when it's the second baby. This is a friend of mine with her first baby. I depleted like most of my sustainable baby shower gift giving ideas. And then when she found out she was pregnant, I also purchased something. It's been a lot of gift giving to this mama in particular. So I was really feeling the pressure for this baby shower because I was like, what more can I gift her? She already has like pretty much everything that she needs. And I really just wanna contribute something that is in line with my values, but might be special. You can let me know what you think of this gift. But anyway, it comes in a cute little bag. It might not look like a lot, but it's, it's not a cheap item. So it's a wooden rattle that has been painted with non-toxic chalk paint because you know, children like to lick things and chew on it and so forth. So this is perfectly safe to be chewed on or to be licked. And it is a literally like an old school rattle for a baby. And it came in this dusty kind of pink color. I prefer gender neutral stuff, but gift giving is not about me. And this mama in particular had a boy and now she's having a girl and she wanted a little more girly things. So I thought that this would be a nice gift. Let me know if you think it is or isn't in the comments below. I still have some time until the baby shower. So if you think this is a bad gift, let me know ASAP with a suggestion for a better one or an additional gift. And now onto the last product. The last item, luckily I gave you all that background about my migraines. When I spoke about it on my Instagram, one of the recommendations was a hot or a cold pad when pain, but you don't want to use pain killers per se. I bought this heat therapy bag that can be both hot or cold, and it's a natural aid in treating soreness, muscle knots, period pain, lower back pain, restless leg syndrome, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. But most importantly, tension headaches, which is the type of headaches that I get. So why I purchased this particular one is because it is a cotton bag and then inside there is just flaxseed, organic lavender and pure essential oils. And that is the end of today's video. So that's just a quick look into a normal purchase 
that I made that supports my sustainable living. Just a reminder that if you found this video to be helpful or mildly interesting, please give it a like and then subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this.